Hello everyone, how are you today? It's good to see you back with me again. I'm sitting in the cathedral at the craft table and I've got some craft stuff. So I've got the sticky tape that I usually have, some scissors, something to write or draw with. And this morning I've got two sticks and some paper which is plain on both sides and I've got some ribbon. And the first thing I'm going to do is fold my bit of paper in half. And I'm going to do it because I want a long strip of paper. So I'm making a fold along there so that I know where to cut. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this bit of paper in half. You good at cutting in straight lines? That's good. You're not good at cutting in straight lines. You might have to ask somebody to help you or practice. So now I've got a long, thin piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my crayon or my pen or my texture and at one end of the paper, I'm going to draw a picture of me when I was a baby. Well, you could, if you like writing, not drawing, you could write something about when you were a baby. And when I was a baby, I was a happy baby most of the time. And my mummy and my daddy looked after me. So there's my mummy and there's my daddy. And they have smiles because they liked looking after me. So there's a picture of me as a baby with my mummy and my daddy. And then, you know, when I grew up, when I was a kid, do you know what I loved doing? I loved reading books. So I'm going to draw a picture of me when I was a girl. And I had longish hair then, just down to my shoulders. And I loved reading books. And I read lots and lots of books. Do you like reading books? Or do you prefer to go outside and play soccer or swim or run or jump? What do you like to do? So there's a picture of me when I was a girl reading a book. And then when I grew up, I left school. And do you know what I did? I went and learned how to be a nurse. So I'm going to draw a picture of me when I was big, being a nurse. How good are you at drawing? Sometimes I'm good at drawing and sometimes I'm not. You might think some of my pictures aren't as good as they could be. So when I was a nurse, I had to have my hair up and my head in a bun and we wore a hat on the top. We wore aprons. Nurses don't wear dresses and aprons anymore, but when I did nursing, we had to wear a dress. There's me with my hat on my head, and there's my apron over my dress. I was a nurse. Did you know what I did then after I was a nurse? I decided I was going to be a doctor. So I went to uni, and I learned how to be a doctor. So I'm drawing a picture of me as a doctor. And this picture has got me with a stethoscope round my neck because I was a doctor. So there's me, I was a little baby. And then I was a kid who liked reading. Then I was a nurse. Then I was a doctor. And do you know what I was after a doctor? That's right, I was a mum. And I had my kids. I like my kids. Do your mum and dad like you? Do you? I'm sure they do, even if they get cranky with you sometimes. So here am I with my kids. And sometimes my kids were happy and sometimes they were cranky, but most of the time they were happy. So we've all got smiles. So first I was a baby, 
then I was a girl who liked reading, then I was a nurse, then a doctor, and then I was a mum. But you know what? I was still the person who liked reading, I was still the person who knew how to be a nurse, and I was still a doctor, and I'm still a doctor now. And that's the story of when I had my kids. And do you know what now? Now I'm not the big one in the family. Now there's me and my kids and my kids' partners. There's lots of people in my family now. And you know what? There are two little people because I've got two grandkids now. One's very little and one's bigger because he's at school. So I was a baby, then a girl, then I became a nurse, then a doctor, then a mummy, and now I'm a nan with my kids are grown up and I've got two grandkids. Do you think you could do a story of your life like that? Now I've done my story on a strip of paper like this because I'm going to do something special next. I've got my two sticks and I'm going to stick one stick at this end of the picture. So I'm going to get some sticky tape and I'm going to stick my stick down onto one end. Okay, so I've got a stick on one end. Then I'm going to take the other stick and you know what? I'm going to do the same on the other end. So that's one stuck there with some bits there like that. And I'm going to put this one on here. So now I've got my story on a bit of paper with sticks at each end. And then I'm going to roll my bit of paper up round there like that. And then I'm going to roll the other end in too. So I'm rolling it like this. And this is my story in what's called a scroll. And I've got the ribbon so that I can take a bit of ribbon and I can tie it round the outside. And this sort of thing is a bit like a book, but it's called a scroll. Do you know our Bible, all the books and the stories in our Bible were, weren't written in a book. They were written in a scroll because they didn't have books then. So we have made a scroll this morning about my story. Whereas the Bible is about God's story and the God's people's story and about the story of Jesus. So it's very special. But this story is special to me as well because it's my story. So do you think you could make a scroll about your story? That would be really clever to do and really good to look at it. Then you could open your scroll whenever you want. You could do, open it wide up. And you could look at your story and you could show your story to somebody else. And your story could be about your life or about what you're doing at the moment or it could be about what you want to do. Would you like to do a story about? It's been good seeing you today. I'm going to put my story away now and I'm rolling it up like that and then I'm going to tie the string around it. It's been good seeing you today. You keep safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.